Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Esther Gidui Ewart. I am a journalist with the Voice of America, and we hope that you have enjoyed your lunch and learned a bit more about the impressive work our alumni are doing in their communities all over the world. We know that citizens are playing an increased and unprecedented role in shaping domestic and foreign affairs around the world. The new landscape requires all governments, foreign ministries, and diplomats to go beyond bilateral and multilateral diplomacy to broaden and deepen relationships with a broad and diverse range of actors. The Public Diplomacy Toolkit of Informational, Educational, and Cultural Programs is the central objective. While many of my colleagues in the room design and implement educational and cultural public diplomacy programs, I represent the arm of informational programs that US government uses to engage with foreign audiences. And therefore, gentlemen, I'm going to briefly tell you what we do at The Voice of America. The Voice of America is often described as one of the US government's best kept secrets. Even though we've been in business for over 75 years, it is the same VOA your parents on, and grandparents listened to on shortwave radio for decades ago. But today we reach a weekly audience of approximately 236 million people. We broadcast in 47 languages on radio, on TV, and on every digital platform available. The web, the mobile, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, you name it. We think VOA has been so successful and will continue to be for three major reasons. Number one, we listen to our audiences so we can meet their needs. When we measure our audience size, we don't just count heads. We measure how they use VOA and what it means for their lives. Number two, we adapt to changes in the media landscape. Shortwave radio served our audiences in Europe, in Asia, and Africa for quite a long time. Medium wave AM radio was added to increase penetration in specific urban areas. VOA moved into television in the late 1990s. And in 1994, VOA was among the first if not the first news organization to put its content on the internet. And number three, we don't, go, we don't do propaganda. VOA is mandated by the law and required by Congress to be reliable, accurate, balanced, and comprehensive. VOA is also mandated to present US policy and present responsible opinions about those policies. There's no substitute for good journalism. We will continue to offer reliable, accurate, objective, and comprehensive news and information to audiences around the world every single day. Thank you very much.